हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म इन करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स एंड दैट टर्म इज रेजिस्टेंस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मीनिंग ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस एंड मेनली द फॉर्मूला ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस लेट स्टार्ट वट इज रेजिस्टेंस रेजिस्टेंस इज सिंपली द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ कंडक्टर विच अपोजिज द फ्लो ऑफ करंट थ्रू द कंडक्टर ओके वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सपोज we have a cylindrical conductor like this since it is a conductor so it is made up of a metal copper aluminum or any other metal so when we apply a potential difference across the ends of this conductor suppose we have applied a potential difference v across the ends of this conductor so what happens electrons due to this potential difference gain energy right because electrons are negatively charged and potential difference means one end of the conductor is at positive potential and the other end is at negative potential so the negative end starts repelling the electrons and positive end starts attracting the electrons due to this electrons start running very rapidly towards the positive end of the conductor now what happens since this is a metal and it is made up of atoms everything is made up of atoms so if it is copper it is made up of copper atoms but since atom consists of nucleus as well as the surrounding electrons but only the electrons are moving towards the positive end and the nucleus of each and every atom plus the electrons which is which are in inside shells only those electrons start moving towards the positive end of this conductor which are in the outermost shell so other electrons are there in the atom only and also the nucleus is also there in the atom nucleus means a combination of protons and neutrons so when electrons are moving towards the positive end of the conductor there are numerous heavy ions present in the conductor so due to these ions electrons do not have enough space to move in a straight line towards this end so what happens they start colliding with these ions they start colliding suppose an electron starts from here so what it will do it will first collide with this then this then this then this then again this 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 so the path of electron is not a smooth straight line towards the positive end it keeps on colliding with the positive ions which are present in the conductor so what happens the speed of electron decreases the velocity of the electron decreases in the absence of these ions the electron would have reached this end in in fraction of a time right but now electron takes more time to reach this end due to the collision so what happens if the time taken by electron is more uh, in going from one point to another point that means the current will be less because current is what current is simply the amount of charge which is, which is passing through a cross section per unit time so if electron is taking more time in going from this point to that point then less charge will be crossing per unit time through any part of the conductor which decreases the current so due to this property the the continuous collision of electrons with the positive ions which are present in this metal due to this property the current decreases and this property is collectively called the resistance or we can say this is the reason for the resistance right okay first formula of resistance comes from ohm's law ohm's law simply says that v is directly proportional to i which is quite obvious because if we increase the value of v then current is definitely going to increase because if you increase the value of potential difference electrons will gain more energy and due to that more energy their speed will increase they will move more rapidly in the conductor and due to which the current will increase so ohm's law says that v is directly proportional to i and if we remove this proportionality sign and put a an equality sign then a constant comes in this equation and that constant is called the resistance right so we can say that the formula of resistance is simply from ohm's law the formula of resistance is simply v divided by i 
right where v is the potential difference applied across the conductor and i is the current flowing through the conductor right okay now since in this formula v and i must be given to find the value of r but r which is the resistance is the property of the conductor right it is not the property of the entire circuit it is resistance of this conductor is the property of the conductor itself so resistance should depend the internal properties of the conductor since v and i are the external properties this this v and i these are the properties of the circuit when we apply v and due to that v we will get a current in the circuit so v and i are external properties but the resistance of the conductor depends on its internal property so we have to have a formula of resistance based on the internal properties of the conductor and that is much more fundamental and important formula of resistance and that formula is there which says suppose the length of this conductor is l and the area of cross section of the conductor is suppose a so resistance of the conductor depends upon directly proportional to the length of the conductor more is the length of the conductor more will be the resistance of the conductor obviously because if the length of the conductor is more than more ions are present in the conductor so more hindrance for electrons number two this resistance is directly proportional to one upon a that means we can say that resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section right if the wire is thicker then area of cross section is more then the resistance of the that that conducting wire will be less so if we combine these two if we combine these two we are going to get r proportional to l divided by a or when we remove a proportionality sign we are going to get we are going to put a constant and that constant is represented by rho which is which is read at rho as rho but it is representing a very important property of the conductor which is called the resistivity rho is called the resistivity rho is called the resistivity of this conductor right resistivity simply means the the ability of this conductor to oppose the flow of electrons if the resistivity of more of a material that means that it will oppose more it will if it will offer more opposition to the flow of the electrons for example we all know that we cannot flow any current through the insulators insulators are bad conductors of electricity because insulators have high value of resistivity right and metals are good conductors of electricity because metals have low value of resistivity so if the value of resistivity is low then more current can be flown through that conductor and this property it depends only on the nature of the material of conductor it does not depend upon the dimensions of the conductor for example if you have five pieces of copper of different lengths and different areas then the resistance of each and every piece will be different because all all have different lengths and different areas but resistivity of each and every piece will be same because they are all made up of copper and resistivity depends only on the nature of material right it also depends on one more factor and that is temperature if you increase the temperature of this material then these electrons will gain more energy and due to that more energy they will move more rapidly and they will collide with the ions more frequently right due to which the time between two collisions decreases and that time is called relaxation time so we will say that the relaxation time of the electrons will decrease and since if we go more into the details then resistivity is inversely proportional to the relaxation time this is the formula for resistivity m is the mass of electron which is constant for each and every metal 
E is the charge on electron which is constant for each and every metal. N is the number density which changes from material to material. So, for different pieces of same material, obviously N, E and M will be same. But if they have different temperatures, then rho can be different. And if they have same temperature, then rho for every piece of same material will be same. Right. So, if we put this value here, we can get an extended formula of resistance which is m by n e square tau into l by a. Okay. SI unit of resistance is ohm. Right. SI unit of resistance is ohm. SI unit of resistance is ohm. From this formula, we can say that R is V divided by I. We all know that the SI unit of voltage is potential difference is volt and standard unit of current is ampere. So, SI unit of resistance is volt per ampere and this unit is called ohm represented by the symbol capital omega. Right? 1 ohm is what? If if V is 1 and I is 1, we can say that the resistance of the, of the conductor is 1. So, we can say that if we apply a potential difference of 1 volt across the ends of the conductor and due to that 1 volt potential difference, 1 ampere current flows through the conductor, then we can say that the resistance of the conductor is 1 ohm. Right? So, this was everything about the resistance, all formulae, concepts of resistance and resistivity. I will meet you in the next lecture. Till then, all the very good.